Color gradients are a powerful tool in Cherry programming that can take your graphics to a whole new level. They allow you to smoothly blend multiple colors together, creating a dynamic and eye-catching look for your 3D models and scenes. So allow me to show you how to use gradients in your Godot shaders. Recently, one of my former colleagues slid into my DMs. He was trying to port my older Unity tutorials in Godot, but he ran into a problem because in lots of my tutorials I used gradient node. If you are unaware, Unity has a gradient node where you can define a custom gradient. Then you can sample the gradient using the time parameter. If you pass 0, you will get the color from the very left. If you pass 1, you will get the color from the very right. If you pass 0.5, you will get the color from the middle, and so on. And in Godot's visual shader, there is no gradient node, so how can you use gradients in your shaders? Frankly, it is very easy. Godot provides gradient textures. For that, you can of course create a texture parameter here, but I will just directly create a texture 2D node. Then here you can select from a bunch of textures. To keep things simple, I will use this gradient texture 1D. Then in the inspector, you can create a custom gradient. There are a bunch of settings to customize it. Then this texture node just samples the texture based on these UVs. I will pass the float constant in the UV. I've used 1D texture, so it doesn't matter what I pass in the Y component of the UVs. But for the X component, this now basically works as time input from Unity's sample gradient node. Let me just repeat the gradients 3 times real quick. So UV multiply 3, and then pass it in the fraction node, and then pass it into the UV slot. Now you can see this visible seams here. You can use some mats to smooth that out. But the simplest way is to just end the gradient with the starting color. In written shaders, it is just as easy. You just define a sample 2D uniform. In the inspector, you just pass the gradient in shader parameter. Then in the shader, just sample the texture. And that's how you can use the gradients in Godot. And that is all for this quick tip episode. I will release the regular long form tutorial soon, until then, I will see you guys in the next one.